Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna be cooking for you guys today. I'm making sausage and peppers in the oven, one of my favorites. So let's get going. Also, I'm on live at the same time. So if you're on my live, say hi to YouTube. So basic things you need when making sausage and peppers is any sausage you like, which for me, I like pork sausage, but I do the Italian mild sausage. I get any brand, whatever's on sale. This is the brand I got at Aldi. And um, peppers, any peppers you want. I just got red peppers so on sale, but I always get mixed, I don't really care. You are gonna need one of these babies. Well, not necessarily, you can make, I like using this baby, but you can make it in like a tin, like a normal tin thing for the oven or like a deep dish pan. Like you can make it any of those. I just like using the skillet because I feel like everything comes out a little more crispier. Oh, we're also gonna need onions and potatoes. I'm gonna go get those. Onion and potatoes. We're gonna start with preheating the oven and I'm gonna preheat it to 400. So I like to start with the red peppers or orange, whatever, whatever color peppers you want. Orange, yellow, red, really don't matter. Um, These bed bell peppers are ginormous. So I'm gonna just use two of these and save the other two for something else. I'm gonna go cut these. I cut up two bell peppers and I'm just gonna stick them in the cast iron skillet. They're now in the skillet. Now I'm gonna peel maybe like four potatoes and then put those in there. Put those in the skillet. Now we're gonna cut up an onion. Um, this is pretty big, so I might just cut it in half and see where we get, how much we get. Whatever, I'm gonna put the whole onion. Onion's yummy, don't hurt. Gives us more flavor. So I cut the onion up in these kind of like sizes and I'm just gonna like stick them around the dish, like on the edges. My eyes burn, ow. Okay, whatever, I'm a, I'm a big girl. Now I'm gonna open up the sausage and stick it in. God, my eyes hurt. Five sausage links and I'm just gonna use them all because leftovers are super yummy of this so I'm not gonna be mad about it. This is what it's looking like. Now I use some olive oil. You can use any olive oil brand you want. This is just the one I got from Aldi. It's Carlini olive oil. Pretty simple. And generously put it on top. This is what it's looking like. Lastly, I just add some salt and pepper. I just have them in here. It's just regular salt and ground pepper. Just mix it. And I just make, take my hands and mix it on up again. Now it's ready and I'm gonna cook it for about 45 minutes, but what I'll do is um, halfway through, I'll go in and flip the sausages so that they get cooked on both sides, nice and crispy. Yeah. All right, now it's like 15 minutes till the sausage is done. And I like to make yellow Spanish rice. I know it's not homemade and authentic, but this stuff tastes super yummy. So I'm making this for the sausage. It says two cups of water per cup of rice, which is pretty usual. But this one usually says to let the water boil first and then add the rice. So we're gonna do that with the water boiling and then it's a tablespoon of olive oil. Make one cup of rice and then go warm this up. And the water is boiling, so I'm gonna add a cup of rice. And I'm gonna mix it with a fork for about a minute and then cover it up and put it on like a low heat and let it just cook on its own. Super easy and this stuff is so yummy and I know it's not authentic, but I don't know how to make yellow rice and I think that's the next thing I'm gonna learn is how to make like a Spanish style rice. I'm not Spanish, I was never taught how to make that, but I do love it. And there is the sausage. And there's the rice. That's all done. Also, David wanted pancakes, so I'm making pancakes. Thanks for watching. That's our dinner for tonight. Hope you enjoyed. And if you want me to do more recipes, comment down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune in. Thank you.